Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, this is the continuation part of uh, the data lookups, assignment lookups and priority lookups um, uh, content. So in the last video we talked about the data lookup, we uh, talk about the assignment lookups, uh, we talk about the priority lookup tables, but this time we'll talk about the assignment rules. Uh, last time we talked about that um, if there is a hundred or lakhs of configuration item, we don't have any options to uh, set the assignment groups selecting them that right so what um, by selecting them the class name or any any of this dot we can't do any dot working all those stuffs right so for that uh, we can use the advanced method called uh, assignment rules uh, you can see that this is the out of box assignment rules tables and these have uh, already activated I think already four five um, six yeah six assignment rule is already activated right now so what we can do we can create some uh, you know, we can create some assignment rules for our case and then we can implement okay so without wasting time let's get started so this is our assignment example table which was created uh, in the last sessions uh, so what we are going to do we are going to create a new record and this time what we are trying to do here uh, in this location right um, we, we, we say we, we already mentioned that in the configuration item or maybe configuration item in configuration item we can select the particular configuration item and based on that we can select the assignment groups in our um, uh, in, in our past sessions called assignment lookup rules right uh, this time we'll do the assign through the assignment rules we'll do by class name or maybe we can do by location region name and based on that we can do uh, some uh, assignment groups okay so what we are going what we are going to do that if the configuration item class is uh, database uh, the configuration item class name is database will add the database groups okay that will be one condition and another condition will be if there is a, any uh, server we will, uh, like uh, the class is server then we'll add the server uh, server assignment groups okay so let's do that for that first what we go we, what we have to do here we have to go to the assignment rules and then click the new options here uh, we have to write the name okay so I am going to write the name equal to uh, assignment rule example and here apply to uh, we have to put the conditions so what we are going to uh, put the condition so first we will put the table name so our case is the table name is the assignment example table name and here what we have to do uh, we have to use the configuration class is so let's uh, click uh, let's do that show related fields configuration item and then we are selecting the class this case so class is uh, first we select the database or We'll do the two condition here. So we selected two condition. Either the class is the database or the configuration item is server. We can select a assignment group uh, easily uh, called database. So that is the one part I'll show you that first. And then I'll select the assigned to is the row. So that is the one uh, rule otherwise you can write the script I'll write the script a little bit complex here later but let's save that the first assignment rule we have created here now if I go back to these uh, our example table and so as per our um, uh, these rules assignment rules if I select any database or any server uh, it's supposed to be said as uh, the assignment group equal to database and the assign to should be ruid so let's save that so once we save that you can see that assignment groups is set as a database and the assign to is set it ruid so that is the one thing so here is the thing if you see here in this assignment rule 
uh, we are checking the condition called the class is database or the class is server and then we are hard codedly actually assigning some database groups or some user right so that is the thing now what we want actually we want that if the class name is the database we want to uh, assign some specific group if the class name is not database we want to assign some different groups so this is the condition so for what for that what we can do we can here get uh, we can write the code inside the script part like a business rule uh, so what we can do here i am declaring a function called class and then we are typing that current uh, you can see that example code in the top uh, so current cmdb underscore ci so i'll get the current ci and then i'll get that class name so sys underscore class underscore name so i'll get the current class name here and then what i'll do here uh, gs dot info i'll see the class what class it is okay if cls class equal to equal to some uh, database class so let's see how the database class looks like cmdb ci dot list class is database copy query and then paste here the class name is the cmdb ci uh, database so if cls equal to our uh, database what we are actually going to do here we are uh, uh, assigning the groups equal to database so we will copy this code here and paste here and we will add that database so we are assigning this class equal to database and else if that class is not fall under database we might be select that the uh, the assignment group is the software group okay so we are checking two things one is that if your class so it is applied for uh, the database and the server okay so if the class name is the database we will set the database else we will set the software that's it just save that now i am going to create a new record here and then is in that case first we will select a particular database class so we see this uh, nyrac and save that it's supposed to be assigned to the database group so let's save that so it's still taking our uh, uh, database and rohit because uh, assign to we need to clear up so i'm going to clear this value of these two because make sure that uh, you clear this value assigned to because we you are setting some value from the dynamically from the script so let's create new record i am selecting a uh, maybe a uh, database so i'll select this one and save that it's supposed to be set the database groups you can see that right now it is set as a database group and assign to is currently completely blank because we are not setting assign to from the script and uh, directly here we clear up the user and groups next thing is that uh, we are going to create one more record which is not part of these um, uh, database but it's definitely it should be fall on the server because if this will be only run if you select server or database so we'll select the server and save that and this time it's supposed to select the software group so you can see that it selected the software group so that's way you can start writing the code okay so you can start writing the code here like based on the condition uh, like if your class is database you want to select the database group if your class is uh, different conditions based on the multiple situations you can it, the list can be increases and more lengthy so that's the one way uh, that you can create the assignment rules so now the next topics we will call about that approvals rules so what is the approvals rules so approvals rules is a certain condition based on that 
your approval can be also generated okay so our case uh, what do you want actually in this task whenever the state will be uh, in uh, open state or um, yeah the whenever the state will be open state uh, we should we want some approvals okay and um, let's create that so what I am going to do here I am going to uh, create a new approvals tools here and in this time uh, I am going to create that approval example and this time our uh, uh, table name is that assignment example and then um, we can select uh, this condition so what we are going to select that if the state is open state what we want we want uh, some uh, we want to set some groups approval so that groups name is for example service now abc let's see that this group have some user or not first of all so these groups have one group member called akk so so uh, so it means that whenever the state will be is open state uh, we want to set a approvals the, the group approvals call service now abc and the user we are going to select that some particular user okay so this the approval should be go to this user so let's go back to this uh, record and create a new record our case is again we are selecting some uh, server and save that it should generate some approvals so we can't see the approval in the bottom section so what we will do we'll go to the approvals table so we can see that there is no approval generated in this our approval table backend table because if you see or if you go to the approvals rule it says that the approval rule will not be uh, run because the approval engine is not configured for particular table so what we have to do you have to click this configure approvals uh, this case and then you have to find out your table name our case is this one and save that approvals rules and click save so now you can see that the assignment example approval rules is applied so let's go back and create a new record here for our case it's uh, the configuration item is so i'm just selecting a maybe database and then save that so state is open it should generate some approval so let's uh, go back to this approval table and refresh that you can see uh, for these two uh, its approval is generated but it set at not yet requested because if I go to these rules again we don't select that uh, any uh, state so let's select the state is requested and create one more record here our case and save that this is 932 and let's refresh that so you can see that 932 approval is generated with the requested state so whatever state you will set here you can define the well defined the workflow but for, for the small piece of uh, uh, things you don't need to do all those stuffs okay so you can define the groups you can define the particular user and then you can define the state and it will be generated simply approval you don't need to write much things even if you are uh, passionate about your writing the code you can write the script there are some example i'll just open and see that if there is any example code is there so let's add the script here So you can see that the code is nothing but the much, not much uh, code is there. It simply said that uh, current dot release dot product dot deploy approval. So if there is a many much much dot work, if you want to do, you can 
just simply select these uh, script or simply write the script it will do that based on that so that's it for today thank you guys uh, we'll talk in our next sessions um, i hope you guys like my video please uh, subscribe like share and comments whatever uh, you want to watch in my channel thank you very much have a great day